In this tutorial, in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at some shortcuts that will save you time in your editing. Professional editors try to keep their fingers on the keyboard as much as possible because in the long term it saves a lot of time. We'll give you a, a couple of shortcuts that relate to the mouse, but more that relate to the keyboard. Let's start out with uh, maneuvering around your timeline. Oftentimes what we'll simply do is we'll take our current time indicator and drag it wherever we want it. Let me show you a much faster way to move that current time indicator along your timeline. If I press the page down key, it will move to the right to the intersection between one element and the other. In this case, it's two clips. Pressing page down again moves one more time and one more time and one more time. If I want to move left to the border between two elements. I'll press the page up key and it will take me all the way back to the beginning of my project. So page up and page down is a really nice way to move precisely to the beginning or end of a segment in your timeline without uh, moving the mouse. It's, it's very nice if you want to add a piece of media. For example, I have it here now. I can click on my project assets. I can right click here on my bicycle and put insert into timeline. And it's done all this precisely for me. Which reminds me of another key that we can use here. We can use the control Z as in Zulu. That will undo your last action. And that's a nice way. That's an oops key or forget that. Uh, action kind of key. But the page up, page down is really nice in positioning your current time indicator in your project. Another related uh, pair of keys right there on your keyboard is the home key and end key. When I press the home key, it will take me to the beginning of the project. Likewise, the end key will take me to the end of the project. Now, when I press this, it goes not where I thought it would. It goes way out into 7 uh, minutes, 10 seconds, and 6 frames. And here I find something that often happens in editing as I wind up with a title or a piece of music or a video clip that, that somehow got isolated way at the very end of my project. If I shrink my timeline, uh, ratio, you see it's way out here, but the end key found it. And what I'll often do before I go to produce a video is I'll press that end key to make sure I don't have something isolated way out where I don't want it. And I'll move it back closer in so it's integrated into the project. But the home takes me to the beginning and the end key takes me to the end. We'll go ahead and enlarge this a little bit. I'll, I think I'll enlarge it even a little bit more now. So I, the at home and end keys are really nice when I'm moving around in my project. Uh, let me give you a couple of others. Sometimes when you want to split uh, a clip, we often will simply click on the scissor here, and that's a nice feature. But if you uh, know exactly where you want to split it and you're working on your keyboard, a shortcut key is the control key with the K key as in King key. Control K, that will split the clip right wherever the current time indicator happens to be. I'll do my Control Z to undo that. But it's a nice way to do it without going out and reaching for the mouse and clicking on the little scissor. So that's a real nice feature. Uh, let me give you a couple of others. Uh, oftentimes I want to see what's the duration of a clip. And I can hold my mouse over and there it pops up it's the bottom number duration and all of a sudden it disappears again. And if I move the mouse a little bit, it's just enough to kind of waken up that, that information. Well, if I, if I want that on the screen more than just a few seconds, what I can do is click on the window key at the top and then click on the second from the bottom, the info key. And that will give me an information box, which I can resize if I want. And I'll move it up over here. And so now when I click on the clip, I have uh, some information about that clip. I've got the name of it, the video type, the duration. Here it's 18 uh, seconds and 10 frames. 
and I have my cursor position and other kinds of things. So if I don't want it to go away, I, I can just have that here and I can close the window anytime I want. But here, this clip now I know is 12 seconds in duration. So I have that information instantly accessible to me in a way that doesn't go away. Now here's another nice feature. What if I want to know how long are both of these clips together? All I need to do is go ahead and, and drag and drop across both of them and let go. And now if you look in that information box, it tells me that together they are 30 seconds and 10 frames. So it's nice. I can also do every all three of these and from beginning to end, I am at 52 seconds long. So that's really nice. That's the content of these three items, even though they're not totally contiguous. So it's a nice way to get information uh, here in my system. Another nice uh, shortcut is if I want to delete an item or blank space between items, I simply click on it and then I can either Press the backspace key or the delete key. They both function the same, and that will take a gap out. So all I need to do is highlight that area and then press backspace or delete, and it will go away. Uh, these are a few of the keys that I find myself using uh, often to save time in editing, and I hope these keystrokes shortcuts are useful for you as well.